Hey guys, this is Dave from Homegrown Herbs. Um, I got asked the other day um, to do a little video on how I keep um, and also a bit of a care um, package on my common boa. Um, so this is Joey. Um, this guy is just over seven feet long. Um, so he's quite a, a big chunky boy for a male. Um, as you know, boas get from anything from six to around 10 feet um, with the females. Some females have been known to be larger, um, but not massively. Um, they tend to be around the nine foot mark. Um, as most people know, these common boas come from North, Central, South America, um, sometimes the Caribbean islands, um, rare occasions. Um, I just think myself personally, I have fantastic sort of mid-stage snakes Uh they're not massively quick-moving snakes. They are quite slow, placid snakes. They can be a bit bitey as youngsters, like most snakes. Um, they do quieten down really easy. Um, as you can see, he's a gorgeous boy. Really pretty boy. Um, now, care-wise, um, I keep these guys heat-wise um, at around about 28 to 30 Celsius. Um, I find that's around the right temp, it never seems any problem, he always eats, sheds, everything fine. Um, I never bother with um, the humidity, to be honest, I've never had a problem with this humidity. Um, it's always been absolutely spot on. He has got a stupidly huge water bowl. Um, if he needs to go in and have a soak anyway, um, it's massive. Um, so that never really causes him any problems. Uh, housing wise, I would suggest um, to look into your housing sides good and proper because uh, overdoing it can frighten uh, boas. The same as some royals are the same. Uh, and these guys are no exception. They do get freaked out if they go in too big an environment. Uh, Joey is in a six foot by two foot by three foot fifth. Um, so you can see, um, sort of give you a full aspect of it. It is quite a huge viv. Um so you've got to be prepared to give that sort of size um to especially him he's as i say he's just over seven feet so to be honest to be honest is i mean to me i'd probably want to put him in a little bit bigger but he's always shedded and fed absolutely fine in here so i wouldn't change that um bedding wise um he's on wood chipping um just find it easy cheap, cheap and simple uh you can use megazorb aspen those sort of things. I just find wood chipping really easy and simple to use. Um, and he seems all right on him. Um, it does seem to help with his sheds as well. Um, helps him roll it off a bit easier because it's a bit rough. So it does really help. Um, Feeding-wise, a lot of people go and stuff these guys because these can be like bins when they get feeding. Um, so a lot of people do go silly and start ramming food down their neck um, and getting them. Um, medium to large rats every week or sometimes twice a week this guy for the size of his eats one large wiener every week that is it um he is quite a picky feeder um he isn't really like a bin he will only eat a large wiener he will eat nothing any bigger nothing any smaller um some random reason he'll attack him but there's nothing with him once he strikes at him um for some random reason i don't know why he just never has done as i say that the setup's nothing major, as I say, 28 to 30 Celsius, um, and they're happy as fine with that. Humidity, as long as there's a good deep water bowl in there for him to have a good old soaking, um, that tends to keep the humidity at around 40 anyway. So that's really you want to keep these guys, so I'd say about 45 to 55. Um, that's about right, to be honest. I'm going to go higher than that. Um, and this one sits, I think it's about 40, so it's a little bit low, but... He seems absolutely fine with that and sheds perfectly well. Um, as I say, with the heat, with mine, I've just got in mine a 50 watt ceramic. And the reason I've only got a 50 in there is simply because he has got a large amount of belly heat as well off uh, the boss monitor. Because the boss monitor has got a 250 watt ceramic in there. And he also has a searchlight in there as well. Um, so obviously, it gets very, very warm. Um, on the belly as well uh, that 50 watt doesn't really do a hell of a lot uh, most of his heat is off the belly and he seems quite happy with that to be fair most of the time he does spend up the top end um, he spends a lot of his time down the water bowl he tends to get around the back of that water bowl there 
and he tends to pull round. Sorry, guys, I don't know what happened there. It went a bit wonky. Um, as I say, he usually goes round the back of there, and you can see the clip over there. Um, there was two. He's broke one off. Um, and you see how he's straightened that one. He tends to go around the back of that water and actually curl around the back. And he spends a large amount of his time actually down the cool end, not up the hot end. So he's actually obviously getting significant heat that he needs um, off the boss's viv. Um, so as I say, it all depends whether you're keeping them as one or whether you're keeping them on top of another viv um, to how you need to keep your heat um, from above. Okay, do a quick video of him on the floor so you can sort of see the size of him and how we uh, sort of, I don't know, I'd say easy to handle these. Um, it's obviously, it does require a little more patience than the smaller snakes. Go on, yeah, go and go that way. So I try and get him to stretch out for you so you can sort of see the size of him. He is a mischievous little boy, this one is, because he gets everywhere. Hey, you munch. You get everywhere. Now, I advise people, uh, when they're new to boas, not to go chucking them around their necks um, around their bodies. I still handle my boy on the floor. Reason being, when I'm on my own, I think that's the safest way. Um, and I've been keeping snakes for well over 25 years, and I still do it that way. Um, me and myself, I'll never put myself in a situation with a big snake. Um, where I could win myself harm. Um, so I'll always keep them safe and secure. Plus, they feel a lot more secure um, with most of their body secure on the floor or being held by somebody. So if there's only me, um, that's not really possible. So I try to keep him nice and happy um, down on the floor. But as you can see, he is a very slow-moving snake. He's not a fast-moving snake like a royal or a cornered bee. Um, he's very manageable, very handleable. Um, Joey gets out every day. He has to stretch out every day. Like most of my snakes and my bosk always come out every day. Um, and I just think that keeps them nice and tame and nice and gentle and settled. So, as you can see, he's happy as Larry having a good old move round. Just trying to get him to go the way I want him to go, not the way he wants to go. Um, that's always a challenge because he always hooks his tail around whatever he can find and then he goes whichever way he chooses to go <laughs> so that's always a challenge there we go all right there we go he's gonna have a, a nosy down the stairs by the looks of it so we'll let him have a slither and then i'll uh, grab him in a second but he is an awesome snake to be fair absolutely awesome and i would really recommend these as a Sort of your next stage up once you've had a couple of years um, or a few years' experience with the Royals and Corns and stuff like that. Um, so I say they are fantastic snakes. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't keep him out too long. This time of year especially because obviously the temperatures are dropping. Even though it's the daytime now and he's quite warm. But a uh, couple of five-minute session um, and that's enough for me, I think. Uh, once a day just something so he's used to being handled used to being picked up used to being moved around and i can hold this boy pretty much anywhere and he is a good boy so and that's how they get they become really nice really placid well-behaved snakes so no beautiful hey boy uh -uh. you nutty boy <laughs> you're not going around me as I say, I will not have the snakes around me when I'm on my own, just because it's safety first. And I'll always preach the same to everybody. I do the same with my children, and the same with anybody that comes round. A snake of this size should never be around your body um, when you're on your own. You always need to have someone with you. Okay, let's get this guy back. Okay, guys, so I hope you find that helpful. Um, as I say, these guys are a brilliant next stage snake um, from stuff like royals um, and corn snakes and that. They are a big, heavy-bodied snake, um, but they do tend to be a lot more placid than the others. Um, more than anything, it's just a matter of regular handling with these guys. You handle them readily and um, keep them well handled. They are really manageable. They're slow-moving snakes. They're not something that will thrash about like loonies. Um, so as long as you keep them regularly handled, they're nice, good, well-tempered animals. So as always, guys, 
Let's teach, not preach. Thanks.